In this video, we're going to install Windows 11 on macOS system with Intel or Apple Silicon chips M series. And the process that we are going to take, it's totally for free and you don't have to pay anything for that. So without further ado, let's get started. So first step is to search for UTM download. After searching for this, we can see the first link UTM virtual machines for Mac. So I'm going to click on this and after that i will be redirected to this website from here we can download the utm software so the first step is to download this software we can download via app store or download from here directly but if we're going to download it with app store we kind of have to pay a ten dollar but if we hit the download button from here we can download it directly so the download will be a start after a few seconds you can start the installation so there it is the utm dmg file in order to install this i just have to double click on this one i can just drag and drop it to my applications so now i have utm installed so we don't need this anymore i'm going to search for utm so on the first try it will ask that this app downloaded from the internet are you sure you want to open it so yep i'm pretty sure now it's time to download and continue i have utm installed all right after installing the utm the first step is to download our operating system that we are going to install with UTM virtual machine. If I click on the gallery, I can see that all type of operating system that I can install. For example, I'm going to install Windows 11. So I'm going to click on this one. And from here, I click on guide. And from here, I can see that I have to obtain Windows. The easiest way to obtain a Windows installer ISO or ISO file is with Crystal Fetch on macOS, a free utility for legally obtaining the newest windows built from microsoft so i can download it from github or i can just download it from app store i just click on download on app store so i can download it with app store and install it okay now i'm going to open my crystal fetch iso downloader and from here i can choose windows 11 or windows 10 but i'm going to go with windows 11 and i have a apple silicon so if i check my computer from here i can see that i have an apple m1 pro 60 gigabyte of ram so with this information i know that i have to go with apple silicon from here i can choose the language that i want so i'm going to go with english united states and the edition of the windows that i want to install i also going to go with windows 11 click on download and this will take a few minutes it's around a four gigabyte of file so i'm going to skip ahead and come back after this download is over. all right now the download is over let's check out the file okay after the download is over you can see that i have it on my downloads folder now it's time to go for the next step so we don't need this crystal fetch anymore the next step is to open up the utm application and from here create a new virtual machine and from here i can choose the virtualize version and from here i want to go with windows okay you want to check this install windows 10 or higher and also keep this import vhdx image unchecked we already fetched the latest windows installer from here so the next step would be to browse and choose that file so here our file it's about five gigabyte and I'm going to open this one. I also keep the install drivers and spice tools and continue. From here, I can choose the memory that I want to dedicate to this virtual machine. So I'm going to increase this a little bit to 8,000 megabyte. And also from here, I'm going to choose for CPU core and 
continue. The storage size as a default is 64 gigabyte, but I'm going to go with 100 gigabytes. So I'm going to hit the continue, but you also can decrease that to 30 gigabyte or so if you want to do so. All right, from here, we can have a shared directory between our actual machine and the virtual machine that we are going to create. For now, I'm going to just skip this and continue. So the name would be Windows 11. I may want to create Windows 7 or Windows 10 also, but for now I'm going to use Windows 11 as a name and hit the save button from here. So now I have a virtual machine which Windows 11 is here. So from here I can see that on CD DVD 1 I have the file that I just passed to that, the ISO file that I downloaded, and I also have a UTM guest to latest. So we're going to see what is going on with these two. So I'm going to hit the play button from here and let's start the Windows in installation. All right, I had to press and enter at the beginning. So the booting starts from the CD or the DVD from here, the ISO file that we just passed. All right, from here, language to install, English United States, time and currency format, that's fine. I'm going to hit the next keyboard input, that's fine. You can also change the keyboard for yourself from here. Do I have a product key? So for now, I don't have a product key, but if you do so, you can put it here. From here, I can choose which image I want to install. So I'm going to go with 11 home. All right. From here, I'm going to accept all of these term of service. Okay. From here, we can also format or create a new partition, but I'm going to just hit the next button from here. So now the Windows installation is in progress and we're going to wait a little bit until this installation is finished. All right, here we go. Now we have Windows in installation up and running. So we're going to just install Windows in a normal way and do all of this configuration. So, yep, that's it. Want to add a second keyboard for now? I'm going to skip that, but you can add any keyboard that you want from this part. So now it's going to check for updates and it might take a while. So for the first time that we're going to install Windows, we might see this screen multiple times and it may be restart multiple times, but after the full installation, we can just use Windows by running our virtual machine and it will be really fast after all of this installation is done and over. Right, enter your name. I'm going to choose my name from here. We have to click on the input first. I'm going to go with no password. All right. As I already mentioned, we have to do all of these updates and download and it will take a while. So I will skip the video and come back when this was done. All right, now we are finished. So the next step, guys, would be to install this one. Welcome to UTM Guest Tool Setup. After the installation is over, these settings will pop up. So we're going to just go and install it. 
All right, after this, I'm going to reboot the system and one more time it will be restart and after that we would be able to use it. All right, now I'm going to make this big also from here. I can go display settings. From here, we can choose the display resolution and also the scale. I'm going to scale it up a little bit more. So because I'm using a big screen and that should be it. All right, now from here, I can use Microsoft Edge and start browsing. Confirm and start browsing. All right, let's go to YouTube, for example. And as you can see, our Windows machine is working as it should. All right, and as you can see, our Windows machine is working as it should. Now I have the ability to switch between Mac and Windows with just hitting the control and arrow left or right from here. Now I can just come back here, make this minimize. All right, now this is my Windows. Okay, now from here, I can just shut down the which one machine and now i don't need these two anymore so from here i can just clear these two out so the next time that i'm going to run my windows 11 i'm just going to hit this button again and my windows 11 should be up and running asap Here we go again and this is our windows for the second time that I started the which one machine it was up and running in less than 10 or 15 seconds so yep there you have it all right guys that was it so now you know how to install windows 11 on your macbook machine totally for free just keep that in mind that on this windows you can do anything that you want on a regular windows system but not for the heaviest stuff for example you cannot do gaming at least the games that have to have a powerful machine behind them so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you like this type of content please consider to subscribe to the channel and also give a thumbs up to this video see you on the next one